Yo guys, welcome back to a PDCGO Expanded Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're taking a look at another Scuba Net deck, um, kind of. This one is going to be a Medicham ADP deck. Now this deck's whole, I think, draw in Expanded is the fact that Medicham is a fighting type, and we already know that there is a lot of Pokemon weak to fighting that are very good in Expanded, like Zoark GX, Greninja Zoark, um, and of course, Pika Rom is good in Expanded too. So you already have that great type advantage, and when you combine that with ADP's Alter Creation, um, it's pretty good. Now, this is a deck that I've uh, already played before. It's already kind of an existing expanded archetype, but we are going to be adding some new things like Scoop Up Net um, to help you accelerate the deck more. You're a little bit faster. We can also use Scoop Up Net Jirachi, which is something I need to get used to doing when I'm playing these Scoop Net decks, is to play Jirachi over Tapu Lele GX. I need to get used to that. But this deck definitely has the potential to be good when you don't run into the cheese. Um, but other than that, I mean, Medicham, not a bad card with ADP. Obviously, Alter Creation is really good. Now, an expanded. Ranger's a thing. Um, that's fine, though. Um, as long as you don't get Pokemon Ranger, Medicham is doing a lot of damage with its attack. Uh, as you're copying Spirited Headbutt here um, with Celebi here to copy Spirited Headbutt. And you're just knocking stuff out. And sometimes you can knock something out um, with your Ancient Trait because you attack twice. You you can attack once and then attack twice. Sometimes you're knocking something out with your first hit. And they have to bring something else in to get knocked out. And you're also taking the extra prize for doing so. So before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever in the ne any need of any PTCGO pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin TCG. You guys are still uh, looking for Rebel Clash packs. Get them over there. If you guys also happen to have any codes or cars laying around that you don't need anymore, you can give them to Car and TCG. They will give you some cash and in store credit for your unused codes and any cards in bulk you want to get rid of. You can get them to Car Cabin, of course. So if you're still looking for any PDCGO pack codes, again, Rebel Clash codes, Hidden Fates codes, Unify Minds codes, or maybe you're looking to pick up any specific GX or promo Pokemon code or the DNA Trainer Toolkit code, get them over at Car Cabin TCG. If you get anything from there, guys, make sure you use my discount code code LDF for the checkout for a nice 5% discount on your order. It greatly supports the channel, helps yourself out, and helps out Car Cabin also. So yeah, shout out to them, check them out. Use code LDF. So let's take a look at the Medicham ADP deck. So this deck seems to be pretty decent. And again, being able to do all this stuff, like you have that good typing advantage and expand and expanded you also have the ability to attack twice and then with adp you're doing the extra damage and you're also taking the extra price just a really good combo now since we are using adp i've actually opted to play a scoop up cyclone in the deck which is a bit of a weird card to play but ideally if you can use alter creation and you can dip it out of the active spot with adp as quick as possible you have that scoop up option you can also just scoop up any of your um i guess like i don't even know that your draw cards i guess um so I've actually opted for scoop up over like comp search. Just it's it's a better card and it's a little bit more affordable if you're actually trying to build this deck. Um, yeah, so we're just trying to copy Spirited Headbutt through Celebi here. Celebi with time recall allowing you to use uh, to use Spirited Headbutt with Medicham. You don't really ever want to use Yoga Kick because it doesn't do as much damage and it also needs two energy. And on top of that, it also doesn't do any weakness. So that sucks. You always just want to go Spirited Headbutt. Uh, we are playing Dionysi with the extra 20, uh, of course, Dedenne, Shaman, Jirachi, uh, that's it for the Pokemon. No other Pokemon. Uh, there is obviously more fighting type Pokemon you could run in here. If you want to play like a couple other fighting types, you can definitely do it. Um, but we're just going straight Medicham. What are the items now? I am playing an Evo Incense, or Evo Incense, an Evo Soda to evolve into Medicham. I got one Field Blower. Uh, Silent Lab is a really big cripple for this deck because with Silent Lab in play, you can't use any of your uh, draw cards. You also can't use uh, Celebi, which is a huge factor for this deck too. Um, we got one Great Catcher. Uh, again, just Great Catcher wins you the game sometimes. You can Great Catcher stuff out, knock them out. We got Quick Balls, Ultra Balls, one Stretcher, one Scoop Up Cyclone, four Scoop Up Net to just get stuff off. And sometimes also when you have like a Shaman in play, you want to get it off the board to like bench Dionysi or an extra Meditite. You need to at least have two Meditites in play. Because um, I'm actually opting for more damage than Focus Sash. I've seen a few Medicham ADP decks use Focus Sash over, uh, like Focus Sash and Hustle Bell over like Choice Band and Muscle Band. I've just opted for just straight power and consistency with Choice Band and Muscle Band over the Focus Sash engine. Um... So, yeah, it's got our simple supporter account. You know, straightforward stuff. Guzma Hall is actually really good in here because it gets you double dragon energy and strong energy. I uh, got two choice bands. Uh, I find that I'm running into more uh, GXs and EXs than I am V Pokemon and Expanded. So, I'm playing more choice band than muscle band. Uh, must one muscle band, two float stones, uh, two double dragon energy for ADP. You could also go to three if you really wanted to, just to constantly be able to pull off that turn one ultra creation as quick as possible. I got four strong energy and four basic fighting. Sometimes you can actually attack with ultimate ray and you can just put energy into play uh, for Medicham. So, 
That's why the basic energy is still really good. You could play Dojo in here. I can't find room for any stadiums. But yeah, that's it for the Mansion ADP list I've got going on here. It's a really powerful deck, and it can win super fast thanks to the ability to take the surprises and attack twice with Medicham. All right, guys, get into our first match here with Medicham ADP. And we'll see if we can win a few games with this deck and just kind of show off how good it is. Uh, let's see. Okay, we do lose the coin flip. That's fine. <laughs> we will live with it. Um. Hmm. Okay, they are playing a grass deck. Now, I don't think this is going to be aggro. Hopefully not, anyways. Uh, we get that nice ADP Celebi Dedene start. Pretty good hand. We just need to find that double dragon energy. If we can hit a quick ball, we can get Jirachi. Yex. We can net it. We can uh, use Mahala. We can then Dede Chain. We can do a lot. We can do a lot. Uh, we just got to get the right amount of cards. And we can pull off the combo and get this deck rolling. And we can start doing its thing so we'll have to see here what kind of deck my opponent's playing again they are playing a grass deck so i don't know what to expect what grass types they are playing they're taking quite a while here okay there we go uh they start with an applin bro okay i don't know i don't know anymore all right they do have great ball in their deck too if they're playing a Sableye Flapple deck, I mean, sure, that's fine. Uh, I kind of feel bad for my opponent, though. I don't know if they're playing an expanded build. I mean, they could have, um, they could have expanded cards, obviously, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Bro, this guy's playing a standard deck. He's got Ordinary Rod, Great Ball. Like, I don't think he plays Dark Patch or even Bats. Like, Sableye Bats probably be better than Sableye Flapple and Expanded. Just saying. I think he'd rather play Sableye Bats. Oh, there's the quick ball. So we can get Jirachi EX here as long as we don't prize our Guzma Hala, which we didn't. We got one double dragon energy in the deck. So that's, that's good for us. Um, yeah, this is fine. We uh, can do quite a bit here. Doesn't matter what I get rid of, right? We're just going to go dead A change. We do need to find a, a Medi Tight here. On the off chance, my opponent does knock me out. Which is very possible. They could knock me out here. We need to get a Meditite. Um, which we do get one. We'll get rid of this. We'll just Juniper next turn. We just need to get one Meditite here to knock out their Sable IV. And Alter Creation. Now our ball has started thanks to Drachi. Drachi X is so much better than Lele. I realize like every time I build an expanded deck in um, since Rebel Clash came out. I completely forget. If I'm playing Scuba Net, I might as well play Drachi over Lele. Because Drachi is Scuba Netable. Which is a really insane combo when you think about it. Alright, so my opponent needs double Flapple here to attack me. And I don't even know if that's even knocking me out, to be honest. Okay, they have Computer Search, but... I still think they need to have some sort of different attacker. Or some different kind of cards. Like, Comp Search is one expanded card, but you need way more stuff. Like, again, Dark Patch is pretty big for my opponent. Dark Patch with Sable IV is pretty powerful. If my opponent can get that to work. All right. Okay. All right. It's a full-on expanded deck. They got. They, I mean, I guess they're just playing a lot of ball searching cards to constantly loop their flapple, which makes sense, obviously. So I guess I kind of underestimated their deck here. But the problem for my opponent is, uh, I don't know if they can beat the Medicham spam. Now they could knock me out here. They need that's 20 damage. That so far is 130 damage with Crazy Claws. They get another 20 damage. That could be pretty big for my opponent. Which it looks like they do get. Okay. 40 damage. I think they're still short on knockout. They need a triple flapple or like a shrine or something, I think, to knock me out, right? No? Never mind. They actually do have a knockout because we, yeah, we go to 240 HP and I think they hit me for like 250. Yeah, they did get a knockout. All right. Wow. My opponent actually got there. That's fine. Well, at least we got the alteration off, which is all that matters. We do have some pretty big stuff in play, though, that my opponent could easily knock out. I think we want to get Jirachi off the board because it's very... Like, my opponent could just knock it out with Flapple. Now, the good news is we're going to hopefully KO them in return. We'll see. I wish I played Focus Sash in here, but I, for this, for me, it's all about the aggression. Uh, so we're just going to take the Jirachi back. Hmm. 
can goose Mahala here. And then we can save the Jirachi for another time. I want to guarantee the strong energy. We do need to get another, um... Yeah, actually, I should have just put Danae back. If I was going to do this play the whole time. Yeah, definitely should have just done that. Because we could get knocked out here if my opponent just played Dark Patch. Yeah, I definitely might have screwed that. We should have gone to Danae back. Alright, well, here we go. We're going to be knocking my opponent out here for a two-hit KO with Spirited Headbutt. I should have played that better, though, for sure. Okay, there's a Shaman. That's good. There's a Medicham. That's okay. Double Dragon Eye. We don't need any of those other than the Shaman. Yeah, I should have just put the Dedenne back in my Dedi change. That was... <laughs> I wasn't thinking ahead. I was like, all right, we're going to put the Jirachi back, and then we're going to Guzma Hall, and then next turn we're going to Juniper. But I should not have done that. If my opponent plays a Dark Patch here, uh, we're probably going to be in... We're probably going to lose, to be honest. So I guess we could do Spirited Headbutt, but not even like... Yeah, that's we're going to lose the game if my opponent does knock me out. I should have just went Dedi change. That was definitely a misplay. I wasn't really... I wasn't really thinking ahead there, but if my opponent doesn't uh, attack me with Sableye here, we should be fine. We just need to get one more one more knockout. So we just need to get one more uh, Medi Cham in play. We should be good. But if my opponent does have access to the OP Busted Dark Patch, we pretty much lose the game. If they knock me out, there's no other attacker I have that can help us here. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't do Dead A Change. Should have just went Dead A Change there. It's all good, though. If my opponent... Like, they can Dark Patch, then move the Flapple right with its ability so it's like it's a really good combos okay great ball it's not a dark patch they gotta play dark patch right there's no way there's no i guess they don't have it all right nice um are they gonna go with load search that's a pretty bad idea okay no okay nice so now we're back in the game hey look at that uh we're just gonna get rid of this let's get that other many types as long as we have too many types in play we're good to go hmm if we had a float stone here, we could float stone this. If we can find a float here, I think we can Guzma knock this out. So we need to get a float. There we go. As long as Guzma's not prized, we should be good. Which it's not. Alright, and that's game. Just like that, in two turns. Two whole turns, my opponent gets bodied by the Medicham ADP. Uh, and again, you can play with Focus Sash if you want. Focus Sash, I guess, would be pretty good in this situation. Or actually, no, it wouldn't, right? Because they break it with Flapple. But I'm glad, I didn't, I'm glad I just played the Muscle Man over the Focus Sash for the extra damage. I think the extra damage is so better. But just like that, we just we straight up just won in two Medicham attacks. Just two turns of Medicham won us the game thanks to the power of ADP and taking extra prizes. This is why this deck has its has its run. It's, it's something to be amazed at. All right, guys, getting into another match. We're up against Kingland here with a Fire and Grass deck. And we'll see what we're playing against. See if Medicham can do its job. We do lose the coin flip. But that's actually fine. Because if we go... I was gonna, if we can go second, we can do that turn one alter creation. Um, okay. This hand's a bit of a, a bit of a wonky hand. I think I'm going to opt for a Meditite here. So I can get a strong energy on. And then we can save the great quick balls for after. Okay. This have an Elder God. Looks like they're playing a fire deck. Okay. So, we got one main champ prized. All our shamans. We actually don't have a Dene. That's pretty relevant. We have Jirachi, though, which is good. All our nets are there. Guzma Hall is in the deck. Two double dragons. All the energies in the deck. Okay. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm just going to pass. Or do we want to dig? Hmm. It's either I dig or pass. Now, let's dig. Let's do some Shaman shenanigans. I'm going to hold the strong energy. Let's go Shaman. I mean, we should just get Jirachi for next turn, obviously, but I'm a Shaman here. Try to get maybe like ADP in play now while we still can. There it is. Okay. Do I want to go into it? I think I do, right? Want to keep the Selby alive? And we can Goose Mahala for the uh, double dragon energy next turn and then do Alter Creation. And then we got the Medi thing. Okay, so they are playing a Fire Deck. Looks like they made Cinderace. Hmm. This is where these strong energies are going to come in handy. Strong energy and Diancy is going to be really important here, I think, to two-shot in this. Because we can we can two-shot it with literally Medicham hitting it just twice with its with its ancient trade ability. Um, we'll have to see if we can get there. All right, just pass. That's pretty good. There's Medicham. I mean, ideally, we are losing a couple energy here, which isn't great. It's actually really bad. But in the long run, it helps us a ton. Okay, 
See if we can maybe rip a Guzma here if they don't attack me. Got to scoop up net. We can do that next turn. Okay, we're just gonna alter creation. Next turn, we can knock out the Eldegoss and take three prizes, and then uh, we just gotta knock this out to win the game. I do want to hit that Guzma, so if we can find a Jirachi Prism here. Or Jirachi Prism. Jirachi EX. Yeah, bro, there's just too many Jirachis nowadays, man. There's too many to keep track of. If we can hit the Jirachi EX, we can Guzma this Cinderace to try knock it out. It looks like my opponent's already one step ahead of me, though. They're probably gonna get the uh, Cinderace VMAX going here. Yeah. Okay, well, did they get the VMAX, though? They've already done their supporter. They've drawn their six cards. They don't have it? Really? Okay. I don't know why they attacked me now. Ah, right, there's the Jirachi. Uh, we'll get rid of Choice Band ADP. It doesn't look like the Choice Band is really needed here. Now, right, what are we getting? Hmm. So, we actually don't have a way to move the ADP without retreating. Or maybe we retreat just two shot this actually, which I'm fine with. We need to get the Medi Titan play though. I mean, I guess we'll do it. We'll just opt for Chorus, I guess. All right, come on, Chorus, give me the goodies. Okay, I, I can work with this. I mean, we could just ultimate Ray him, but uh, we do knock him out here. Uh, we have to get rid of all of our double dragons. So ADP is sending Doc. That's fine, though. And here we go. Spirited Headbutt. Just like the Sable IV, we're going to be two shot it. And uh, my opponent probably will have another Welder out here to knock out Medi-Champ, but we have another medi tight. So we just got to knock out one more Cinderace. We win the game. And ADP living is good, too. Uh, okay, there's another Medicham. We are a little low on our energy, though. Well, not low, but we've already played a few energy, which is a little bad. Ooh, Professor's Letter. We'll see if my opponent has access to the Welder. I gotta assume they do. They have, probably have Via Seekers. Yep. So, Medicham's definitely gonna get knocked out. This is where I wish I had the Focus Sash, right? So, we have Focus Sash on. We would not be getting knocked out here. And then we would just win the game with a, another attack. But we don't have it because I decided not to play it. Um, yeah, they don't get the Cinderace VMAX here. We're going to win the game, though. We're just going to go Evolve Medicham, Spirited Headbutt, Guzmahala, win the game. We probably have to bench Diancie, though. If they get a VMAX in play, we can't really afford to bench the Diancie. Because we probably need to get another Medicham. Oh, they don't even attack me. That's uh, not good for them because we win the game now. We're just gonna go via Seeker for Guzmahala. Guzmahala pretty much MVP in this entire video so far. Uh, yeah, not bad. There's that float. Yeah, we're just gonna do um, Yoga Kick, which will two-shot this also. All right, come on, let's go. Here we go, Yoga Kick. Boom, bye-bye, bye-bye. And just like that, once again, two attacks. We win the game. Two attacks and we win with the Medicham. Pretty good stuff. I want to maybe see if we can run to a dark deck or lightning deck. Just any matchup where like Medicham uh, can one shot them. And then we still have the second attack ready to take another knockout. Stuff like that is like really good. All right, guys, get another match here. We're up against Arcade with what looks to be um, probably an alternate crossbow deck, unfortunately. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for a second so we can try to do terminal to creation. Not with this hand, though. Got no outs to ADP. Maybe we should put Tag Call on this deck. Okay, they're playing a Reshiram. Alrighty, then. They probably have Lightning Attackers. Like, if they get a Zero Aura here, that would be pretty good. No, okay. Alright, we are playing against Reshiram. Crossbreak might actually be an issue if they can attack with it. Hmm. See, we just need to, um... We just need to get ADP. And we can try to alter creation. If we can draw an ADP here, that'd be great. So we can Jirachi for Guzmahala. No. Alright, we're just gonna have to end them then and hope for the best, I guess. Okay. That's a little, that's that's a promising start. We can do quite a bit here. Um first of all we can scoop them at the shaman. Uh we can quick ball, get rid of this. Get Medi tight, I think. We do have Dene in the deck, which is very important. Alright, Shaman here. We'll go set up for four. Let's see that double dragon energy. 
No. Okay. That's fine. We're just gonna have the Dedenne here. And Dedenne could probably get us a couple scoop nets, right? Right? We could- Oh, we could've just went- We should've just went Shaman, actually. Whatever, let's see what Dedenne gives us. Uh, no double dragon energy there either. Dang. Alright, we're gonna have to do this then. We got a stretcher. We can shame in for five. All right, come on, we're digging. Give me that double dragon. Okay, still didn't get it. We do have the scoop up net though. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep thinning, man. I'm thinning. I'm thinning to winning, winning to thin. All right, come on. Still that other scoop of cyclone two. Nice, we got it. All that digging paid off. Nice, you love to see it. And before they Pokemon Ranger me. But it's like, okay, we're chilling. We got the alter creation turn two. Thanks to scoop up net being OP. All right. They can't even KO me here, which is good too. Unless they like, like, I don't know. There's no way they can kill me. They'd have to like do insane stuff. As long as they don't have cross break, I'm fine. Because I don't want them to like cross break both like Shaman and Dedenne at some point. That could be pretty awkward for us, but... We're in a pretty good spot. We have another quick ball. We can quick ball for another Medi type. As long as we just keep constant Medi types going, we should be good. There's their aura. So now our wing condition becomes knock this out, knock out this thing here. Do we have Guzma in the discard? We do, and we have one via Seeker, so we're chilling. Oh no, a boss! No, don't do this to my Medi type. Hmm. Okay, that's a little annoying. Uh, we can still attack him with Ultimate Ray though, which is fine. See, we draw. Okay, that's way too many many tights. Oh no, we can't. Why did I bench that? We can't even attack them now. Oh, that was silly. That was silly. Shouldn't have benched that. I wasn't thinking. I was like, alright, let's just get the many tight in play. And we're good. But we are not good. Alright, we're still gonna pass, right? Like, they're only coming at 270 anyways. Even if they do manage to attack me here. Dang it, bro. Why'd I do that? Why did I bench the Meditite? I should've just... But the problem is I bench Meditite, then I have to dig for a way to get something off of the bench. And I only have... Well, I guess we should've done that, because we still have two nets and that scoop up Skycomb left. Yeah, that was a misplay. I should've just went Jirachi there and just gotten like an N or a Chorus. That's fine. We can attack them next turn. We don't have our Choice Band right now, though. Yeah. I should've just went Jirachi. That was kind of stupid. Okay, they're doing 180. Let's see what we draw. Great catcher. Okay, we can actually knock out the Zero Aura. Oh, but then we lose our Jirachi. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna go Spirited Headbutt. We can finish him off with either ADP or with the Meditite here. I was actually thinking about just retreating like Celebi or like Dedenne or Shaman or something. I don't want to lose any of these because if Dedenne or Shaman gets knocked out, we're one great catcher away from losing. Dang it, I am not playing this very well. Them knocking out that Meditite there was definitely a problem. The fact that we didn't bench the Jirachi was a stupid misplay. A misplay that might even cost me the game if we're not careful. Definitely should not have benched the Meditite. I don't know, man. We should have. Why didn't we not go Jirachi? We don't have Chorus, though, do we? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We shouldn't have benched that, that, that Meditite, bro. They're actually attaching to this thing. I don't know why. Bruh, are they actually about to win with a Crossbreak GX? That last card in their hand has to be an end resolve. Okay, never mind. We're good. They're going to knock on my ADP, right? Okay, I'm fine with this. All right. They actually could have won if they had an end resolve, which is a little scary to think about. But that's fine by me. Uh, if we can get a Via Seeker top deck so we can end them to two, that would be amazing. But this is good. We actually have game, right? No, we're still short on this. <gasps> the top deck of dreams! Oh my gosh. Alright, our uh, win condition has just returned. So let's actually scoop up the Dedenne. Or maybe... Hmm... No, never mind. We can't do Great Catcher on this. I will scoop up the Shaman. 
All right, come on. Let's get a VF Seeker and an energy. Yeah, we didn't get VF Seeker. We can use another net. How many, many champs do I have left? Two? I could probably giant hard this away just to draw an extra card. I'm going to risk it. Yeah, we got one left. We're chilling. Besides, this thing can already knock out Zerora, so that's all we need to do is knock this out. Still no N. That's all I want to see here is an N. It's going to be our last net. Got three via Seekers. So all I want to get is an energy. Or an end. We just want to get an end. We can end them to two. We can try to lock them out of the game. Come on, give me a give me an end. Okay, there we go. We got the VS Seeker. Yeah, I don't think we can Great Catcher Zero or after we attack. I mean, that'd be nice. We could, but we can't. Ooh, we got the Great Catcher back anyways. Nice. All right, Yoga Kick. Oh yeah, we can't. We have to go, uh, we have to do double Yoga Kick. That's fine. Hopefully we lock him out of the game. We're taking four instead of three prizes, so it's like Naganadel can do much. Well, we're weak to Psychic, so it doesn't matter. And hopefully our end of two just kind of solidifies us winning this game. That's another thing I like about this deck, is like you can end them to two and like completely lock them out of the game, right? Because it's like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to the ADP. I'm not going to make a champ. Two prizes left. All right, I'm going to end you to two, and let's see if you can draw out of it. And let's see if my opponent can actually draw out of this end of two. If not, we do have game next turn by Great Catcher or Guzma. Knock out the Zero Aura, or we can knock out Poipul. So it doesn't even matter, right? We just win here no matter what. But let's see if they can do anything. They have to get like a welder top deck here to even attack me with the uh, Rushy Rom, which isn't very good. Though I could have ended them into the welder, but they haven't even played much of their deck anyways. Like before that, they played like only a few cards. You know what I mean? So there's a good chance here they don't have anything, right? It's like they didn't, they literally didn't even go under 30 cards when we end them there. So, like, they could easily just get a clunky hand. And that is what I'm hoping for. They get a nice clunky hand. We're chilling. They have to get, like, a welder. Okay, we end them to two into a welder. That's good to know. That's, that's great. All right, can they get a light energy at the very least to attack me? Hit it, Dedene. All right, our end to two was a very poor. Ooh, they had a boss. Wait, why didn't they boss me? They could have won with a boss's order. Bruh. Oh, that's so bad, though. The end of two didn't stick. Oh, wait, they can't. Right, they weldered. What am I... What? Bro. Sometimes... You, I think you can't play two sports. They can't boss work. It's already weldered. All right, never mind. I am stupid. Doesn't matter. We won. We won. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was way close. That was closer for comfort. We got, like, that amazing start where we were just digging and digging for that... For the uh, double dragon. So, it was, like, really good. We almost got bodied, though. Um, it's a little annoying that our uh, end didn't stick. Hopefully, uh, if we end them again, hopefully it actually sticks this time instead of that uh, instead of that nonsense of giving them like the perfect card they need to like get out of their uh, bad hand they're in. Oh, yeah, we're going to win the game. Take another dead with Medicham here. Way more closer than I thought it would be. We definitely misplayed, too. We should not have benched the Meditite there, but we're recovering and we're learning from our mistakes. All right, guys, getting into another game here. We're up against a metal deck here. This is probably going to be Zacian, and that could be a little tough. To be honest, especially if they have metal frying pan, we do this coin flip. I'm assuming they're gonna go first. Okay, they're gonna go first. So we can try to get that turn one alter creation, and we got it. Nice. We have Jirachi for Guzmahala. Got the ADP start here. We're looking pretty crispy. We'll see what my opponent's playing. Yeah, it's Zacian. Uh, we can still two shot Zacian with Medicham. It's just it's very bulky. But uh, we just gotta knock out two of these to win the game. As long as they don't play any copies of. Pokemon Ranger. They do unfortunately get the energy, so they will be hitting me next turn. Which is fine. Oh, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the Guzma Hall. It is prized. Oh, dang. Alright. Hmm. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Ultra Ball for the Meditite, and we're gonna Juniper. We could also end them, I guess, but I want to get the best outs I could. I don't really care if their hand's big. We need to get that Double Dragon. That Guzma Hollow Prize is a big rip in the chat. Um. Okay. Let's do this. Do this. Do this. 
We still have Dedenne to work with, too. Okay, I'm going to get the Dedenne. We're not going to draw as many cards with Shaman, but I'm fine with that. Just need that double dragon. Did not get it. Let's do this. Uh, get rid of that. And we're going to get a Diancie here. Just we have at least one more thing in play. Come on, Shaman. Give me the double dragon. Just got to dig. Sometimes it's all you can do is dig. Dig, 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 dig. But won't be able to put Celebi down, I just realized. Until, like, this gets knocked out. Alright, we just gotta keep digging. Let's get rid of one other Meditite. Alright, Dedenne, give us the good. You still have a bunch of uh, scoops left, so we can still get it. There it is. Alter Creation. Now, if they Ranger me, I'm gonna be big sad. Uh, Rangering me would be awful. Now, I actually wouldn't mind if they went energy and, like, gusted something other than Meditite. Like, I don't really care if they knock out Shaman, Jirachi, or Dedenne. Um, because if they knock either of those out, we got a bench spot open for Celebi. I'm also fine with just doing Ultimate Ray on this thing. I don't mind ADP getting knocked out, unless they're playing Composition. Alright, Jirachi, this does tell me they probably do have a Gust. Let's see it. Let's see if they have a Gust. We'll see what they draw you for. Are they getting anything? What's going on? What's going on? Hmm. Alright, so. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll scoop up now. They get a Jasmine, bro. What? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I think what we're going to do. Arguably, we could scoop up the Jirachi. Um, no, we don't have any other supporters. Yeah, I think we want to try to ultimate ray them here. Though I guess if like this lives, we can we can still knock him out Medicham. Ooh, escape rope. I'm fine with that. Uh, hmm. Shaman or Jirachi? I actually don't really care if Jirachi gets knocked out. We've already went through most of our supporters. I think I'd rather keep Shaman, just if we ever need to draw a couple extra cards. I actually am totally fine with him knocking me out here so that we can move. Uh, we do have Guzma on the discard, so... But we don't have an energy to work with, so we can't hit this thing. But, I mean, we can knock this out pretty easily. Let me just knock this out, win the game, knock these two out. Hey, there's the switch. I, I am fine on this as long as we're not playing Jirachi Prism. I am totally fine with my boy getting knocked out here. Then we finally get to bench Celebi. Uh, we don't really get to bench... Uh, Meditite. But, I mean, since ADP is already in play, we can just finish the game off by attack with ADP if we really have to. We can do that now, actually. We can actually, uh... We can Great Catcher the Jirachi, knock it out, and then we just gotta knock this thing out with Medicham next turn. We could also just end them to four here and swing with Ultimate Ray. Yeah, I actually don't mind doing that Ultimate Ray swing play. Let's end them. Possibly take away any Rare Candy Magnezone shenanigans. See if we can get anything good here. Uh, all right. We'll bench that, sure. Yeah, we'll ultimate ray. I don't know if we have a fire energy we can search out, though, do we? Okay, we do. Nice. Maybe we should have just take the knockout here, but I mean, what we can do is we can knock this out with Medicham. Even Shaman could Sky Return it. Actually, yeah, you know what? Well, we should put the energy on Shaman. And then we can Sky Return, knock out the Zacian. That would actually be a bit of a better play. Yeah, we probably should just put the energy there. That's fine, though. They can't knock out ADP. They need to get a switch. Cramorant. Ooh, that's a little scary. We can't one-shot that. Because we don't have Muscle Band anymore to work with with ADP. So that's a little bit of an issue. They have a DCE for it, bro. Oh, they're actually going to let us knock out this. Which is fine. So then we just scoop up Cyclone here. We try to knock that out. Or is this... I don't know. We, I want to knock this out, though. Okay, second May champ's pretty good. We could stretcher... No, that's not going to do anything. All right. Um, let's just do this. Steady change. See if we can get Guzma? No! Oh. That's a lot of uh, stuff we don't really need.
We only have one VS Seeker. We, we do see the guy Great Catcher or Guzma here. If we don't get it, whatever. That's fine. We can still knock him out with Medicham and then take another hit on something. Okay, we still didn't get the Great Catcher or Guzma. Okay, we got one here. Come on, Shaman. Don't let me down. Okay, we got the Great Catcher. So we can Great Catcher here. Bring in the Jirachi. Medicham doesn't quite knock it out. Yeah, we don't have the Celebi in play. Oh, I guess we could scoop up the Shaman and then bench the Celebi. And then we can knock him out with Medicham in one hit, and then we get to take something else out. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Then we just need to find Guzma. Alright, this is set 90 on the dot. And then we just need to gust out that Zacian V to win us the game here. There's Juniper. Chorus. Alright, we don't really need any more sports. We literally only have four cards left. Okay. We're going down to one prize here, guys. And all we gotta do is knock out one more thing. We win the game. Guzma Hala. None of these can gust out that Zacian, though, which is the only issue. Though I think we can still two-shot the Cramorant with the strong energy on. Unless they snipe Celebi. But, bro, there's no way they're not going to knock out Dedene, bro. Like, this thing was literally meant to KO Dedene. So, like, if they don't snipe the Dedene here, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I think we two-shot them with, Yo with uh, Yoga Kick, right? Because it doesn't apply resistance. No, they're not going to be active. All right, that's fine. That's still game. If we draw via Seeker, we win. I think we still have game with uh, Yoga Kick here. Thanks to the damage boost. So we go here. Yo, yeah, that's game. All right, well, I think I'm gonna wrap today's PTC Shield video with the ADP Medicham deck here. I think I did a good job showing off the whole idea of this deck. Um, only other change I would make after recording the video probably would be to play a third Double Dragon. I actually think, or that, a Tag Call would be good in here. But the problem with Tag Call, we only have the one Guzma Hala. But I think Tag Call is actually pretty good in here too. Uh, I don't know what I would take out though, honestly, for a Tag Call. It's a pretty tight deck i guess we could cut one fine energy uh, i guess that's ideal we could also cut a medicham from the deck i don't think we need four uh yeah i think we can cut a medicham for a tag call other than that i mean i think i did a good job showing off the power of adp medicham it's a great little deck to play when you want to kind of counter the big lightning and dark decks in the expanded format and there's a lot of adp combos in expanded so maybe we'll do another video on another adp expanded deck soon uh, yeah, as long as you just avoid Egg Row and uh, Alternate Crosma even can be tricky. And also, of course, Trev Noir, you don't really want to play against either. You should be good to go. As long as you just don't play against the, the Degenerate Expanded decks, this tech can give you a good time and you'll have fun with it and you can body people, as you saw in today's video. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like the video, subscribe down below. If you are new to the channel, help me over reaching 10,000 subs. We just reached 9,100, so we can also try to reach 9,200 subscribers. Thank you, guys, if we do hit that. I don't know, that was kind of convoluted how I said that, but... Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out the sponsor, Card Game and TCG, down below. Make sure to use code LDF if you happen to pick up any codes. Thanks for watching, 